Last time, Chris got all the runs for the septic system down in the ground and glued on all the corner fittings to be able to get the upright piping in. We had to do some hard hand digging with all the rocks on our property so we could put in the inspection port piping alongside the others. We then continued on to backfill our entire system and put it to bed in the ground. Stay tuned as Chris gets working on more of our hay fields this trip up as the weather's supposed to change to rain, he rushes back up to get some seed down. Alright guys, so we just got back last night and uh, I'm back on the road heading back up again tonight. Um, I picked up some uh, some seed today and I got the uh, the spreader all fixed up and I got a line on a culti packer that I'm gonna pick up tomorrow sometime it's about two and a half hours drive from our property and the plan is get up there tonight around 1130 have a quick snooze and uh, hopefully up in the up early in the morning for 6 a.m. and get those fields seeded and then I'm gonna make my two and a half hour drive to pick up this culti packer and uh, head back pack the seed in and then head home tomorrow night because I've got uh, customers coming by Wednesday morning All right, so we made it here at, uh, just looking at that crow there that's flying overhead. We made it here at 11.30 last night. It's now uh, six o'clock. We're gonna get unloaded and see if we can start spreading some seed. We got our dryland, what is it? Southern Interior Dryland Forage Mix. So since we're not, uh, we don't have any irrigation, we had to go with the dryland mix. And what that has is 20% annual ryegrass, 20% slender wheatgrass, 15% creeping red fescue, 10% dryland orchard grass, 10% crested wheatgrass, 10% Sangha alfalfa and 5% of Timothy. Now I wanted something with a bit more Timothy, but that's all they had. Or not, sorry, not with Timothy, I wanted more alfalfa. But we'll see how this goes. Not that I'll know any different. I think I'll throw two in to start and that should get me almost three acres. Anyways, forgot to tell you, this is uh, our Vicon spreader that we bought. I think I picked it up for 500 bucks. Thought it was a, a decent deal, got it home. Um, I knew the sides were cracked. I figured I could just refiberglass those. 
But what I didn't know is when I took this off, the, the pipes were pretty rusty. Um, it had been sitting for a while. So I took it apart, cleaned it all. I uh, had some rust knot, which went over the rust to convert it to a, uh, I think it just converts the metal so it doesn't rust anymore. And then I painted it, went through, greased everything, and then realized that the bottom of this cone was completely destroyed and he had just patched it with silicone. So I made myself a, uh, a new stainless cone that fit in there. Bolted that in last night before I left. And uh, now we're gonna try it and see how it works. So I'm supposed to be spreading at 25. Nice voice. So it sounds like I'm going through puberty. 25 to 30 pounds an acre. I don't know how I'm gonna gauge that. This thing's got settings on it, but uh, it's, it's uh, calculating at pounds per minute, which I don't know. I'm just gonna guess, I guess. So let's try 2000 RPM. so I just finished my first two bags which should have got me that full three acres but I got a little bit left so I'm obviously seeding a little bit more than what I need to so I'm gonna turn it turn it down a bit and see if that helps now I did buy more than what I needed I had an extra bag so hopefully we still got enough so, so I remember for when we do the next seeding, I am right now, I would say at the setting of 10. So I think if we go, there's six. I don't know, we try it there, which would maybe be like an eight or a nine. And then my RPM is at 2300 and I'm going about five kilometers an hour. I might be able to call myself kind of a farmer now. Not sure. So we got the lower field done. We got to still uh, run the culture packer over it once we get that, but let's hope it all worked out well.
when Chris is away, this is what I'm dealing with at home. All right, guys, we're back on the road. We got about a five hour round trip-ish to go uh, pick up this cult of Packer and then back to the property and finish packing that seed in. All right, guys, we're here. Supposed to drive down this uh, Harry Road somewhere. Hopefully, I don't get kidnapped. All right, well, I made it. There weren't any. Uh, Human eaters here. Got her on there, all right. Luckily, it uh, comes apart pretty easy, so we were able to put it in two halves. Took the front tongue off, and then put the rest on sideways, and it just just fit on. All right, so we made it back, all in one piece. Didn't move. I guess next the challenge is to see if we can get it off. I think it's probably too heavy for this tractor, but we're gonna try and see. Give it a whirl.
guys, that's a wrap. Now all we can do is hope that it rains in the next, uh, well it's supposed to rain on Thursday, which is two days away. It's supposed to rain from anywhere from three to five days. So let's hope it uh, continues and this grass starts to grow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.